dear students welcome to this new lecture of mathematics part 1 as you know that we are continuing practice set 3.3 and here is a question number 7 let us read it so that we can get the idea how to solve it okay in an arithmetic progression sum of three consecutive terms is 27 you know what is mean by consecutive terms just adjacent terms just like 1 2 3 are adjacent terms in that way consecutive terms okay and the product of the same three consecutive terms is 504 find the terms what are those terms whose sum is 27 and the product of the same terms is 504 for that we have given a hint in a square bracket you can see here assume that three consecutive terms in an ap are a minus b a and a plus d so we don't have to start the answer like this let the three consecutive terms of an ap be a minus d a and a plus d because it is already given here if it is not given then you can write let starting with let means you can consider but it is given here so we are going to use the condition first directly what is the first condition the sum of the three consecutive terms three consecutive terms is 27 so let us write it by first condition you can directly write here by first condition sum of three terms means a minus d plus a plus a plus d and this sum is 27 see we have used the first condition the sum of these three consecutive terms we have written here and it is given 27 so it is written on the right side what do you see on the left side see negative d and positive d can be cancelled what remains a plus a plus a so 3 times a addition of 3a is 3a is equal to 27 now if this 3 which is multiplied here shifted to the right side becomes divided So twenty seven upon three is three nine. Zero twenty seven means we get the value of a is equal to nine. You can write directly because this example is too much large example. So you can write here directly. Okay. Now this value is useful for us while we are writing. We will be writing the three consecutive terms. See middle term is already find out here. It is obtained here, but we need d also so that we can get these two terms also. and for that purpose we are going to use the second condition in a example see the second condition is the sum of sorry their product is 504 product is product of these three terms so let us write here by second condition by second condition and what is second condition product product of first a minus d into second a into third term a plus d and this product is given 504 see the product product how can we say this is the product of three terms because there is no sign in the brackets so there is a product clear and that product is 504 now we can put the value of a because we have already obtained it a equals to 9 we can put here and if we put the value of a here what we get 9 minus d into 9 into 9 plus d is equal to 504 see this step is obtained by substituting the value of a in the above step clear now this 9 which is multiplied here if shifted to the right hand side it becomes divided what remains on the left hand side these two brackets what are those two brackets 9 minus d in second bracket 9 plus d is equal to we are shifting this 9 on the right side so it becomes 504 upon 9 clear now what do you see here this is the expansion of something see a plus d into a minus d And you know that a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So using that formula, we can write here nine square means a square minus b square means here d square. Clear? 
on the right side. Let us divide this 504 by 9. You know, 9 5 is a 45, which is number close to the 50, 45. 9 5 is a 45. Remains 5. 4 on 5 becomes 54. You know that? 9 6 is a 54. In this way, we get 56 just by dividing these two numbers. Now, here we can write square of 9 is 81 minus d square will be as it is, is equal to 56 also as it is. If we shift this negative d square on the right side, it becomes positive and 56 shifted to the left side, it becomes negative. So the next step will be 81 minus 56 is equal to d square. Negative d square becomes positive because it is crossing the equal sign and on the other side. 56 comes to this side and becomes negative because it is already positive here. It comes to this side becomes negative. So this step is not so difficult for you. Okay, now let us write subtraction. So what do you write here? You can write therefore d square is equal to. Let us subtract these two numbers. Here 11. 11 minus 6 becomes 5. If 11 is taken, so you can carry 1 here, 5 plus 1, 6, and you know that 8 minus 6 is 2. So in this way, you get this subtraction answer 25. If we take square root on both sides, we get the value of d plus or minus 5. You know the square root of 25 is 5. And if we take an square root on both sides, so we have to take the sign plus or minus here. This d has two values, positive 5 as well as negative 5. We can take any of them. Okay. Now, let us write the first, uh, these three consecutive terms using the values of A and D. Means, if, if we take A is equal to 9 and D is equal to positive 5, we will also find three consecutive terms using D equals to negative 5. But first, D is equal to positive 5. So, which are the three consecutive terms? First is A minus D. A minus D means here we can write 9 minus 5. And 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. So, this is the first term. The second term is A. We can directly write it A equals to 9. The third term is A plus D means 9 plus 5. And you know 9 plus 5 is 14. So, three consecutive terms, if we take D is equal to positive 5, the three consecutive terms are 4, 9 and 40. But if we take, if we take A is equal to 9 and D is equal to negative 5, means second option of D is negative 5. So, what will be the three consecutive terms? Let us find it out. A minus D, the first term is A minus D. A minus D means 9 minus minus 5. 9 minus minus 5. It becomes 9 plus 5. Positive, positive, become, sorry, negative, negative becomes positive when you solve the bracket. So 9 plus 5 is 14. Means the first term is 14. Second term, A. And the value of A is 9. So second term is a 9. Third term is A plus D means 9 plus negative 5. 9 plus negative 5. And if we solve this bracket, you know that positive negative becomes negative means 9 minus 5 and is it equal to 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. Clear? Now, for the second option of D, we get the three consecutive terms as 14, 9 and 4. So, you can write the answer in two ways. So, the three consecutive terms are, you can write here, therefore, three consecutive terms are, are first, first answer is 4, 9, 14. 4, 9, 14. Or, or you can write, see here, 14, 9 and 4. 14, 9 and 4. 
So dear students, you can see that there is no change in the answer even if you take D is equal to positive 5 or D is equal to negative 5. Only the position of 4 and 14 changes. Middle term is same here. So you, you see that there are no change in terms, only the place of the first and the third term is changing here. So I hope that you, you must have understood this uh, answer, how to solve this question, how to use the uh, hint. So two conditions are given and we have used the two conditions for finding the three consecutive terms. Is it clear? Okay. Okay, dear students, now let us see question number 8. Find four consecutive terms in an AP whose sum is 12 and the sum of the third and fourth terms is 14. So up to here is an example and whatever given is in a bracket is a hint. So let us read the hint also. Assume the four consecutive terms in AP are A minus D, A, A plus D, A plus 2D. So very simple as we have given the hint four consecutive terms so we are not writing here let the four consecutive terms of an AP be so and so. If they are not given then you can write it. Okay. Now we can directly use the first condition. Here also the two conditions are given. So by first condition let us write the first condition by first condition the sum of all the four consecutive terms. All. It's 12. So let us add these four terms. First term is A minus D plus second term A plus third term A plus D plus fourth term A plus 2D. And this sum is given 12. Clear? Now, you can see the like terms here. A plus A plus A plus A. 4 times A means 4A. Now, this negative D, positive D will be cancelled. Remains only plus 2D. So, plus 2D. And is equal to right side 12 as it is. Now, if we divide the whole equation by 2, you can see that we can divide the whole equation by 2 because all the numbers are in the tables of 2, table of 2. So here, 2 2 za 4 means 2a, plus 2 1 za 2 means 1d, only d is equal to 2 6 za 12. So we get the linear equation in two variables and we are going to give it as equation number 1. So this equation pr comes from first condition. Now let us use the second condition also. Let us read the second condition. The sum of the third term and the fourth term is 14. See the third term and fourth term. Don't mistake. First term, second term here is a third term and this is the fourth term. So sum of these two terms is 14. So let us write here by second condition. So second condition says that the sum of the third and the fourth term means a plus d. This is the third term plus fourth term a plus 2d is equal to 14. The sum is given 40. Now here like terms are a plus a that is 2a. You can write 2a plus d plus 2d is 3d is equal to 40. Just like in equation 1, this equation is not divisible by any number because all the numbers do not come in a single table. So you can give this as equation number 2. So what do we uh, do here between equation 1 and 2? You see that they are the equations in two variables. It's linear equations, just like linear equation. And you can see that the coefficient of A is same. So by solving these two equations, we can eliminate A and first get the value of D. Once we get the value of D, you can substitute it in equation 1 or 2 and can get the value of A also. Once you get the values of A and D, you can find out all the four terms. See how easy it is. Now let us solve these equations 1 and 2 simultaneously. So what do we do here? 
when the signs of the two like terms are same we do the subtraction here so we can write here subtracting equations 1 and 2 so first equation is 2a plus d is equal to 6 second equation 2a plus 3d is equal to 14 now if we are subtracting means here the signs of the second equation will be changed we have already studied simultaneous equations so this should not be difficult for you okay positive 2a negative 2a is cancelled here means a is eliminated d minus 3d is negative 2d and 6 minus 14 is negative 8 we give the sign to the answer of always bigger number so bigger number is negative so the answer is negative and there is a subtraction if one number is negative there is always the subtraction no addition now both the sides are negative means we can write both sides as positive so d 2d is equal to 8 if this 2 is shifted to the right side becomes divided and we get the answer 2 4 za 8 means d is equal to 4 if we substitute this value of d in equation 1 we can write here putting d is equal to 4 in equation 1 let us put here 2a plus d the value of d is 4 is equal to 6 now let us solve this first shift this 4 on the right hand side so 2a is equal to 6 minus 4 therefore 2a is equal to 6 minus 4 is 2 and if this 2 is shifted to the right side it becomes divided and 2 upon 2 becomes 1 so the value of a is equal to 1 see here value of a is 1 and d is equal to 4 using these two values we can find the four consecutive terms about which the example is asked so first term first you can write therefore four consecutive terms four consecutive terms are the first term a minus d a minus d means 1 minus 4 and you know that 1 minus 4 means negative 3 so this is the first term negative 3 is the first term second term is a and you know the value of a, a is 1 here so this is the second term just underline all the terms means you can identify what is the answer here easily identify okay now the third term is a plus d a plus d means 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 this is the third term and the fourth term is a plus 2d means a the value of a is 1 plus 2 into d means 2 in bracket 4 is equal to 1 plus 2 for the 8 and 1 plus 8 is equal to 9 means this is the fourth term so the four consecutive terms are you can clearly see see the underlines here negative 3 1 5 and 9 so in this way this example can be solved in a very easy manner just read the conditions use those conditions in a equation form solve them you get the values of a and d once you get the values of a and d just put them in a hint what four uh, terms are given here you can solve them and just get the answer clear okay okay dear students now let us see question number 9 if the ninth term of an ap is zero then show that the 29th term is twice the 19th term so dear students all this is given about an ap such ap whose a single term is not known here even the first term common difference is not given so what we are going to consider let a be the first term 
एंड डी बी द डी बी द कॉमन डिफरेंस वी आर कंसिडरिंग इट अबाउट एन ए पी दैट वी हैव कंसिडर्ड यर नाउ वी हैव गिवन वॉट वी हैव गिवन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू राइट इन अ सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म नाइन्थ टर्म इज जीरो मीन्स वी हैव गिवन T9 is equal to zero. You can write here also T9 is equal to zero. That is given. And we have to show what we have to show. You can write here to show what the 29th term is twice. Twice means double. Double of 19th term. Means you can write here T29. That is the 29th term is double or twice to multiply T19. 19th term means 29th term is twice of 19th term see how simple it is what we have given it is written in a symbolic form so if we want to show this we are going to use formula for tn means nth term because all is given about the terms only so let us write formula here we are going to use a formula and that formula is tn is equal to a plus in bracket n minus 1 into d so this is the formula and this formula using this formula we are going to write t9 t29 and t99 also because whatever is given is about t9 t29 and t90 so first t9 means using this formula if we are writing in place of n 9 so we will put here n is equal to 9 also okay so a plus in bracket 9 minus 1 into d we cannot put the values of a and d because it is not given in a question okay so here we can put the value of t9 is 0 so 0 is equal to a plus 8d 9 minus 1 is 8 so 8 into d 8d A plus eight D. So here, from here, you can see that A is equal to negative eight D. Means you can write the value of A is equal to negative eight D. Means positive eight D. If shifted to this side, it becomes negative eight D. So this is the value of A. Simple. So it will be useful for us. Now let us write second T twenty nine. Okay. T twenty nine using the same formula. T twenty nine. See here. If we are using n is equal to twenty nine, means here also we will put twenty nine is equal to a plus in bracket twenty nine minus one into d. Now here we have not given the value of t twenty nine, just like t nine. So we are not writing there anything. But we are putting the value here of a is equal to negative eight d. Okay, so negative eight d plus twenty nine minus one twenty eight multiplied by d means twenty eight d. So these two terms we are getting like terms. See d and d means like terms, and one number is negative means there will be subtraction. So twenty eight d minus eight d is equal to twenty d. Positive because bigger number is positive, so answer will be positive. So this is the value of t twenty nine. Give this as equation number one because it is useful for us to show what we have to show. Now let us write t nineteen using the same formula. Now t nineteen is equal to Using same formula, if we write here in place of n equals to nineteen, so it will be equal to a plus in bracket nineteen minus one into d. Again, here the value of n nineteen. Okay, so t nineteen will be equal to left side as it is, right side again the value of a can be substituted negative eight d plus nineteen minus one eighteen. Into d means eighteen d. See here again. You can see these two terms are like terms because both have the d variable, and one number is negative means there will be subtraction. Eighteen d minus eight d is positive ten d. Sign of bigger number positive ten d. 
so this is t ninety. So give this as number two. Now you can see that from one and two, if this is twenty d and this is ten d, means this is double of this. Twenty d is a double of ten d. Means simply you can say that t nine t twenty nine is double of t ninety. Means if you want to write again, you can repeat equation one from one. You can write t twenty nine is equal to twenty d. Means I have repeated here the same equation here. Now here t twenty nine will be as it is. Split this number as two into ten d. Same two into ten twenty twenty d. We have just split twenty into two into ten and d as it is. Okay. Means here you can write two into. In place of ten d, you can write t nineteen using equation two. So you can write here t nineteen and give here reason from two. From where do you write in place of ten d as a t nineteen? It is from equation two. So it is simple. See how it is proved, how it is shown. Very very simple. Is it? So I hope that you must have understood. Understood how to show t twenty nine is double or twice of t nineteen. Give it as an underline and very very easy question. Just revise it. If you don't understand, you can ask me by calling me. But try to understand. Just repeat it, revise it, and tell me how easy it is. Okay.